rain. Yeah, definitely raining. <laughs> what was wrong with that? June um, 2019 and today we're in Essex um, for reasons we discussed yesterday which would have been the Toll to Pier video um, we don't really come this side of the country I don't know why maybe London's kind of in the way um, so yeah, here we are in Essex it's time for every two station number 16 from the Flitch Way Yes, it's definitely wet. No, we're in rain. I know, that's why we've got the bodies up. <sighs> the place rain! <sighs> Look, um, rain! <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. All right, we're in rain. Is that how you pronounce it? I guess so. It's not rainy. Rain. Rainy. Okay, right. Then we move we're rainy. <laughs> it's very rainy. <laughs> First stop of the day from um, Braintree. We're heading uh, west to Bishop Storford. And first stop is rain. Rain. that was rain. Um, lovely little tea room, lovely kind of um, hat tip to the heritage days gone by, or the heritage. Yeah. So we stayed at Brentwood didn't we, which was quite a long drive through rush hour traffic up here to pretty much Braintree. Um, so we're quite getting out and enjoying the walk even though it's tipping down with rain. Um, but our next stop is um. Bannister, Bannister Green Holt. Bannister Green Holt. Yeah. So that was built a bit later than, well, so the line was built in 1869, the Flitchway, yep. or the Bishops, Storford and Braintree line. Yep, sorry, um, massive puddle. Massive puddle. <laughs> um, so Rain was built in 1869 as one of the original stations. Next one, Bannister Green Holt was built when? 1922. 1922, we assume um, as like a last ditch effort, not a last ditch effort, but an effort to get more passengers, which was often the case in the yeah. 1910s, 1920s, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see, we don't know how far Bannister Green is from rain, but we're gonna walk along the line for quite a while and see, see what we can find. Right, Bannister Green coming up, we can see a sign. Um, that's really cool. I presume they've got signs all along here telling you where all the stops were because it's part of the heritage route, Route 16. I'd say it's stopped raining. It's definitely stopped raining under this bridge. It has under the bridge, yeah. <laughs> Which is great. Right, awesome. Bannister Green Hulk, fantastic. Um, so built in 1922. I say built, there was nothing, but there's an old picture on the sign there, which is great, but the old picture literally just shows like almost like a sleeper next Basically to the line. Basically what it looks like now, yeah. with a sleeper like on the edge. I always thought that you, you would have like a, um, with a hole, any hole, like a wooden platform almost, but apparently not. That is, um, 
Banister Green Hulk in all its glory and probably is exactly the same as what it looked like back in the day. Okay, stop number three, ladies and gentlemen, on, on our trip today will be... Felstead. Felstead. <laughs> We've got a, a, a chap, I think he lives in Australia, but I think his name is Richard Felstead, and he keeps saying, go to the Flitch Line, because there's a station named after me. <laughs> so, Richard Felstead, this is for you. Yeah. <laughs> and we take requests. So, when I ask for the name that relates to a station, we take requests, right? And we will go there, not and necessarily straight away. Yeah. But we will be going to... All the disused stations. All the disused stations. <laughs> um, so Richard Felstead, next stop is Richard Felstead. Next stop is for you, sir. When was it built? Uh, Who cares? Let's talk about that when we get there. That's probably a good idea. Right. Yeah. We've now got like a two-mile walk back that way to the car to rain. Um, in the rain. In the rain. Just what a joke. <laughs> So this is Felsted, <clears throat> um, Felsted Station House, which looks unoccupied, but very nice. Does that make sense? Yes. It looks all done up, but the, like the, the gate's been trashed, um, which is a real shame, but it looks lovely. I'm sure someone's in the process. There's an old lamp up in the garden over there. Yeah. Right, so we're going to walk up this part of the um, Fletchway. Fletch. Fletchway. Fletch, Fletch. Fletchway. Fletch. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> Helpful graffiti. Often is the case in that we find graffiti, which is actually um, not kind of, what's the word, not disrespectful, but like yeah. your tunnels we find, you rarely find someone graffiti is the actual architecture. They just graffiti the gate. Yeah. Which is like, okay, well, it could do worse, can you? There was one the other day that had literally done that. They'd done their like big picture. The tunnel they, one, they yeah. Cut off like part of it because otherwise they would have been doing it on the actual. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, right, should we walk that way? Can we? Right, Eastern, Eastern Lodge. Yep. Um, really <laughs> trap bed is just there. Goes back up to um, the Keeper's Cottage, which is still there. Mm. So this is Eastern Crossing Keeper's, Cottage. Crossing Keeper's Cottage. So it wasn't, it was just a halt. So there was nothing for him to do. There was no signals, no signal box, none of that. Yet they still had a Crossing Keeper's Cottage. Um, not the first time this underlines our, <laughs> underlines our point about why the railways had issues with money, mm. a crossing keeper's cottage. So they employed a man, presumably full time, with house, um, to basically look after a crossing. But then also, this was also paid for by the Earl of Warwick. Okay, so I'll take all that back. Well, kind of, but I don't know how much the money went towards the crossing keeper's cottage, but £140 he paid to have the halt built in the first place. Okay, so maybe And it's... I think it was £56 a year after that for 10 years for the upkeep of it. Right, So okay. I don't know whether that includes the cottage or whether this? that was just that was the Earl of Warwick. Earl of Warwick. So the Earl of Warwick is responsible for this halt? Yes. Right, okay. He was. <laughs> Okay, so this is um, Takeley, Takeley Station. Um, first of today, really, when there's been a significant um, platform still in situ. Lovely, amazing station house, which housed the waiting room, um, uh, what do I call it, lamp room. It was a station master's house. Um, I don't know how much more there is around here because there was supposedly a signal box, obviously there's a signal box, but there were sidings, there was a goods yard, a good shed, there was all sorts here, wasn't there? There was. Um, it's now mainly a housing estate just over that way, but obviously lovely station house. Not the longest station we've seen. No. Nope. It ends about here, so that took us about half a minute to walk, didn't it? Ish. Yeah, rather than some of the other ones we've been to. Yeah. Right 
It's not raining, but... Ah. Takely. Very nice. Although, not a tea house. We thought we could get a cup of tea because Google Maps says cup of tea, right? There was a cup of tea symbol. Although we yeah. haven't really looked close enough yet to see what actually it is anymore. No, but it looks like a business because there's lots of people inside typing um, and doing office type things. <laughs> Hockerill, final Holt. stop of the Hockerill Holt, built in 1910 for the golf course? Yes. Bishop's Store for golf course? Yeah, Bishop's Store for golf course, but it was also used for access to the public, but yeah, it was mainly for the yeah. golf course. Right, so we've come to this little alleyway between two housing estates and we thought this was where it would be, because it says online that there's been a restoration project by yeah. the Friends of the Flitch Way. Yes. So we're kind of between two um, housing estates, very posh housing estates. Um, and we thought it would be there because we're at, this is the exact line so that way goes into Bishop Storford the way behind us there obviously goes back to Braintree um, and the map said <laughs> on the, tree. the map said here pretty much where, where the station was just yeah. down there that down there when you go through that gate is a river so I'm not 100% sure um, right so back to the car Yep. Back onto the road bridge mm -hmm. up there because there's a road bridge up there, um, and we'll see if we can see anything from there. Because yeah. the this doesn't look anything like a restoration product. No, right this here. is just a pathway. pathway. <laughs> right, so this is one of those times when Wikipedia is quite wrong. Um, there is no restoration project here at Hockerill. Um, we're right on top of the bridge now. Down there would have been the station. I'm next to a main road. There's no access to down there. Someone's garden that way. Estate, estate. Um, so, yeah, that is actually someone's back garden, to be fair. So, zero attempt at restoration at Hockerill. Um, sorry, we tried. <laughs> That's it, got the button. All right, we're on. Okay, that was Hockerill. Um, pretty rubbish, really, Hockerill. That was the Flitch Way. We hopefully brought you the best presentation we can um, from eight stations between Bishop Storford and Braintree. <laughs> it's been terrible weather, so we're really sorry. We couldn't get you some amazing, lovely, beautiful shots. Um, but it's been a nice little explorer, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a bit of fun. We've done a good bit of walking. Oh yeah. So Flitch Way, big tick. Um, we should be back next week with who knows what, because we're way behind with editing, so we've got loads of videos to put out, but we are a long way behind with editing, correct? Yeah, so it could be anything. Could be anything. It's a mystery, even yeah. to us. <laughs> yes. Um, so anyway, our usual stuff. Um, if you're new to our channel and you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. Click the notification bell, that side, um, I think. And we'll, um, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.